How to Upload Content At WizIQ, you can upload and organize your content right within our site. Your content can be anything from tutorials to PDFs to narration or a video. Any courseware you might need to do your job. By uploading content within WizIQ instead of leaving materials on your computer or hosting it elsewhere, you will realize two major benefits. One, all of your uploaded content is easily available right from within the content library in the virtual classroom. So when you are teaching your students, you need not waste time uploading files or finding the right content. Your courseware is ready and waiting, already converted to appropriate formats and available to share with just a click. Second, public content uploaded on WizIQ gets indexed and displayed in search engine results increasing your visibility to new students. If you continue to upload public content consistently, then it automatically helps promote you as a teacher. A student searching for information on your subject finds your uploaded content useful and ends up contacting you for further instruction. This works for organizations, too. Public content not only increases visibility for your institution, but both public and private content can be shared among your teachers. Now that you know how useful uploading content tool is, let me explain how this works. The first thing that you need to do is log in to your WizIQ account. Then go to the Teach tab. In its drop-down menu, select Upload Content. Click on the Browse button and select the file you want to upload. Make sure that your file is one of the supported file types and within the size limits described here. Don't worry, there isn't much we can handle. If you want to bring your content from some other site, like YouTube or SlideShare, then just click the Embed Code link and paste the embed code here. Now, fill in some details about your content to help students easily find what they are looking for. Give an appropriate title to your content. Say it is about the Renaissance, then a suitable title will be Understanding the Renaissance Movement. Giving a title also makes it easier for you to search for your own materials in the content library of your virtual classroom. Next, provide appropriate tags. These are like keywords. In our case, we can write history, renaissance movement, lecture notes. These also make the content easily searchable, both within the WizIQ content library and on Google and other search engines if you've made the content public. Give a small description about your content so that students know beforehand what to expect. Here, set the privacy of your courseware. Public content is accessible to everyone, is listed on WizIQ, and is also indexed in Google, while private content is accessible only to people you invite and is not indexed. Let's check public. Select the language of your content from the huge list of choices given. Let me select English. Here, check the box if you want others to download your content, or uncheck it if you want your materials to only stay on WizIQ. That's it. Click Upload, and then the Continue button, and you're done. It will take a few seconds, depending on the file size, to upload your content. Your content is uploaded successfully. You can now see your content listed under the My Content option in My Stuff. All of your courseware is displayed here. When you start a class and enter the virtual classroom, simply click on the content library and all your uploaded content is visible here. Just select the particular file that you plan to use in class and click Add to Class. There you go. Start teaching. It's easy to upload your tutorials, lecture notes, video, audio, any educational content on WizIQ.